and with one another. And to believe God for the impossible to be possible. And so we, we spent about six and a half months at All Children's Hospital just down the road in St. Pete last year. And uh, we lived there. We had amazing care. The staff there was phenomenal. The doctors were phenomenal. You know, and as we walked the hardest journey of our lives, I was reminded of when David says, Yehu, I walked through the valley of the shadows of death. And I felt like, <laughs> I'm there. Can I get a witness? <laughs> I'm there. But, you know, as I looked at that scripture, I noticed something that I've never seen before. And, and David was saying, Yea, though I walk through the valley. You see, we're never stuck in the valley when we have Jesus on our side. Yea, though we walk through this valley. Let me tell you something, it works conference, whatever valley that you're faced with. Whatever miracle that you're believing for, listen, you're not walking through that valley alone. You're walking through that valley with a God who loves you unconditionally. The God who makes the impossible possible. Our miracle working God. That's who's there with you. And as we walk through that valley, you know, I've never felt love like we felt through that time never known faith as I do now. And isn't that like God? He's so not interested in our comfort, but he's so much more interested in our growth. So as we walk through that journey, as we had friends around us to lock arms with us, to join their faith with ours, six and a half months later, we got word that our daughter was completely healed of the peace. God we serve. He is the God of miracles. And I just want to pray for you. I want to just ask that God would just bless you tonight. And I pray that you got something out of these. Oh, sorry, close up. Just wanted to do a quick periscope. Uh, <clears throat> we were on the way home from picking up the kids, and I know there's been times throughout this journey that we were wondering if this It Works thing was going to work, and if it was the path that we were supposed to be on, and the path that uh, God wanted us to follow, and this conference just kind of confirms that, that this is where God wants us to be. And it just amazes me that a conference this big and this important to them that they would include a worship service. Sorry, I'll turn it down. Tonight, God has just done some amazing things. Sorry. It just amazes me that they would include a worship service into their intro on one of the biggest years or biggest days oh, of their the conference okay, I love that. and we were driving home and Marcus wanted to see where mom was and as he was watching and listening to the service he was in the back seat singing the worship sir worship songs that just meant a lot to me then know that he knows how important God is in our life and this company means to us and I know he has bigger plans for us and that I want to be able to spend time with my kids Jack, Jack, can you pause it? Hi! Say hi Periscope! Hi Periscope! Were you having fun singing the worship songs? Yeah!
You did a great job, buddy. I love you. I love you. Bryn, can you say hi? Hi, Periscope. All right, we'll put it back on the worship service. Have a great night. Stand in the way of the plan that you have for them, and for their families, and for their children. Nothing would stand in the way. Lord, we believe that you are the God who is exceedingly abundantly above. That's who you are. That's how you operate. Just as Miss Cindy Pentecost was sharing that scripture in Ephesians 3.20, you are exceedingly abundantly above. But we thank you, God, that as we look to you, as we make our requests known, let us know that you are big enough, you are strong enough, you are God of all.
turning it on for you, okay? Hey, Periscope! <laughs> hey, Periscope! Isn't she precious? Hmm. I love my Brynn. Here, can you hold the phone? Talk Hi. Hi, Periscope. I'm going to LA. Hey, Periscope. Talk to the phone. Yeah. Sorry. Look for mom, Marky. So we'll have to see if it will come back or not. My phone's pretty much dead anyways. Marky say, night periscope. Marky, where you at? Marcus, say night periscope. Hi periscope. 
Friends say night. Hi, Periscope. Take time for bed. Have a good night.